Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Once again, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1. Remember, the whole theme of these messages has been praying and asking Holy Spirit for wisdom and being filled with the Holy Spirit. And sometimes we might not know how to pray as we ought, so we pray in other tongues and ask Holy Spirit to give us revelation of the Word of God. And so we read verse 22 out of the Amplified Classic, and he put all things under his feet, and has appointed him the universal supreme head of the church, a headship exercise throughout the church. Every person that is born again, that believes in their heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confesses with their mouth Jesus is Lord, is part of that church. We are his church. It says in the New Living Translation, God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. Jesus did not die, go into hell, get the keys from death, hell, and the grave, defeat Satan for him. He was in glory before he took on the form of a human being. He came for you and me. We needed him. We needed him to get back the dominion and authority. Or we could say the blessing that God blessed Adam and Eve with in the garden. And that blessing was when he said, you shall have dominion. That dominion was gotten back. That authority in the earth was gotten back by Jesus. It said all things are put under Jesus' feet. Well, it also tells us he's the head of the church. If he's the head, he's not the feet. The feet is in the body, and we are the body. So if it's under his feet, all dominion, all of things that are named in this earth are under the feet of Jesus. Whether it's poverty and lack, sickness and disease, anger, any of these other things, Depression, they're all under the feet of the body of Christ. If you're a child of God, you're part of that body, and all these things are under your feet. But you must ask Holy Spirit to give you revelation knowledge of the Word of God pertaining to your authority, your dominion. Because it says, which is his body? The church is his body. The fullness of him. The body is the fullness of Jesus. Everything Jesus has is in the body, who fills in all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of Jesus, who makes everything complete, and who fills everything everywhere with himself. You are filled with Jesus today. You are filled with Holy Spirit today. You have the authority and the power that Jesus has today. Ask Holy Spirit for revelation knowledge of it. 